Hi folks, Damien here, aka Irish Trekkie, back with another Nerd Escape podcast. And yes, we have another Discovery cast. And as always, I'm joined with Chris the Trek Collector. How are you, Chief? Not too well, actually, no, I'm lying. I'm over the moon. It was brilliant yesterday. Finally, CBS has done what all the fans wanted. But in my opinion, look, in fairness, they only started product, uh, producing last week. So, you know, I know the fans are hungry and they wanted to see stuff. But, you know, fairness to them, they got it out as quick as they realistically could. You know, it's it's great. It's great news. I thought it was amazing. Uh, so the, the production whole, teaser that was, was launched. Was beautiful <laughs> Look, it was a beautiful tribute to Star Trek for 50 years. Gene Roddenberry thrown in there. Star Trek is, what a brilliant way to start off. You know, ah, it's, you know, it was brilliant. And we got to see sneak bits of Discovery coming up. Yes. Like, it's been a while, Chris. You know, we saw, we saw the CBS All Access teaser back in the summer of last year where we saw um, that kind of ambiguous little trailer. And then San Diego Comic-Con we saw the discovery coming out of the asteroid. And now, as you said, production has started. We have this behind the scenes trailer, which is something that I wasn't expecting. I was expecting kind of more, um, I don't know, like character teasers or something like that. So this gave us a, a nice insight behind the scenes and kind of came out of nowhere. And we were very lucky, as you said, we got the new Delta dropped on us as well. So it still has the split, but we have the command iconography in the center of it and it still has that little slice on the side as well so yes what we're going to talk about today we're going to csi this production trailer i think what you find i want to throw in one or two things at the start though realistically i think we have san diego comic-con as a big huge blessing in disguise i think they had put themselves under too much pressure and um, they said they were going to launch something for San Diego Comic Con, which is like one of the big Comic Cons of the year, okay? And not specifically just Star Trek. It's just one of the, ma like, it is. It's the biggest Comic Con in the world, okay? And no offense to anyone else that goes to other Comic Con. I think San, San Diego has established itself as the biggest Comic Con. Mm. I think they pushed out something that they really weren't ready for, and they've learned from that. So, you know, production being delayed, so forth like that, it's brilliant news because now we get yeah. this. Mm -hmm. and in fairness they started filming last week yeah. so you know I'd say if they can kind of keep this up once a mm -hmm. month kind of a build up every month on bits and pieces that they can reveal I think it would be amazing and that will initially build the whole build up towards Star Trek so I'm, I'm kind of delighted now from the lessons learned from San Diego and it took it on board because I think if they just kept on putting themselves under pressure like if, if Discovery was already on I would be very worried at the moment what we're getting I think that there's <laughs> held it back i honestly think we're going to get a much better product which i for one i can wait i can, I can wait another year for this if it's done right that's me <laughs> well uh tiny tricky doesn't sound like he's going to wait another year <laughs> if you can hear him in the background there um but yeah definitely definitely you know obviously i think everyone wants to see star trek right now <laughs> <laughs> a little tricky yeah well i know some people are impatient to wait but me i would like it's it's been over 50 years well it's been 50 years since star trek started it's been a long time since star trek's been on tv for me i am the patient sort i want to see star trek back on tv and i want it done right so yeah that's where i can wait that's it i know there's a hunger for it out there and um yes good things do come to those who wait and um yeah like and i think this teaser that we're about to talk about um has really whetted the appetites because there's a lot of concern out there and speculation is rife because there's been such little information out there and we're culprits we like to come on here and speculate as well so like what we're going to talk about here is our own opinions um could be completely wrong left field we'll probably look back in the year and laugh at what we're about to say but um it's always good to get a conversation going and talk about what we'd like to see and what we think we are going to see as well so don't Hang us out to dry in case we're wrong, but uh, let's enjoy the ride and uh, let's see what we have. So um, I've lined up a number of stills from the production teaser. Um, do check out the official 
uh, Star Trek Discovery Facebook page, Twitter, and I believe it's on YouTube. I was having a bit of an issue trying to watch it on YouTube, but it was watchable on Facebook and Twitter. Um, you can actually see this teaser for yourselves. And uh, let us know what you think of our opinions and if you have any ideas yourselves as well in the comments below. So um, let me switch over here and uh, let's have a quick chat. So folks, uh, I'm just sharing my screen here uh, with you fine people at home and um, we start off with a lovely, nice overdub piece, Chris, about what is Star Trek. You know, it harks back to 19, early mid-1960s when Gene Roddenberry is sitting down and writing what is Star Trek and what, what do you think about that idea to introduce this teaser? Perfect. Very fitting. Very, it, it, it's perfect. Um, this would have been nice, I think. I suppose, again, this is where I think they raced into stuff. Um, you know what I mean? Concentrating on the ship too much, where they could have actually just simply done. I think the first part of this promo would have been enough just to show this part with Gene Rodney writing and showing all the previous incarnations of Star Trek. Um, I do think they're learning from past mistakes as well, which is very, very good, because I do, do, do remember reading up um, one of the reasons why Enterprise failed was the simple lack of star trek being on enterprise so i know with previous carnations at the time it was easy to kind of do what you call it the uh, from the next generation in sea space nine and now they kind of branded the things together but i think this has been well done mm. yeah yeah i i, I definitely I think it's good... yeah i do i do it's I... a history it's a small little quick history of star trek and it has them all together mm. it's not, actually it's so much enterprise in um, there is a couple of shots uh, with Enterprise. Um, oh, there is yes, it's, Trip it's, and Doctor Flox, and like what yeah, I that's what, right, yeah, there's a few. So they have everything in there, so it's it's great, it's fitting, you know. What I mean, it's fifty years of Star Trek, and that's kind of you know they're holding values, so it's nice. And what I like about it as well is it does ask the question, like what is Star Trek? Um, because I know a lot of people are talking about, are we going to see like here here is them shooting the Enterprise model, studio model. Um, a lot of people are hoping for a revisit to the 1960s but is that what star trek is today you know we should ask ourselves what is star trek to us to the 21st century to 2017 and it starts off with the cage and snapshots and works its way up and the nice thing i like about it is it's not just normal uh, images that we see we see production we see the crew we see the cameras and stuff like that as well so it's kind of subtly giving a nod to the production of star trek discovery i think what, what, what would you say on that kind of point i completely agree you know it, like it's not just about uh the actors you know what i mean uh playing the characters there's a whole team involved and like again like there's so many big names and i don't want to even mention one in case i forget because you know, I mean, there's not worse when you kind of do these things and you forget a name, but there's been so many people linked with Star Trek over the last 50 years and people that jumped on board as fans that got into the movies and so forth and moved their way through. So it's not just about actors, you know, and it's great to see guys behind cameras and so forth like that. And getting to see the lads putting together the, uh, the sets mm. is, is nice. And I think this, there is that they've picked some great photographs there. You know what I mean? Where you see the 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 actors just all relaxed, the production crew doing their thing, and they're kind of smiling and laughing, yeah. which is very very nice. And to me, that also shows one thing as well. When you go to Star Trek conventions and all that, and you see these actors, they have this family bond, and you do hear the stories that they do have with the production crew as well, and that they all play jokes, pranks. They're all great at somebody's birthday and all that. So, like, I can see the family values coming from all this. Yeah, perfect, perfect. And, and it's great also as well seeing the actors as well doing sitting in the director's chair as well, which is kind of cool, which that was Star Trek as well. Big part of Star Trek more recently from Next Generation where they let the actors, you know, get mm. behind the camera and direct. Yeah, spot on, spot on. And I, I just like the kind of subtle nod that it's showing its roots in, I'm going to use the bad word, canon star trek you know it's not just a new beginning like we're showing stills here from tos 
TNG, you know, Voyager, um, Enterprise, all the series as well. So maybe they're kind of subtly giving us the nod that this is a continuation on those stories in that same universe. And um, I know we've talked a lot about Paramount Star Trek before as well. And there's a lot of valid concerns out there because, again, there's such little information out there. Speculations like wildfire as well. So I just thought it was a nice, nice introduction and uh, some 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 great stills and after that side of the teaser we start getting behind the scenes shots off sets like this one that we're looking at here what got me this is a hard one yeah like w- it's a very hard one for me to take out because yeah we know what the traditional bridge sets look like mm. and to me i don't really see too much bridge in this now there seems to be this big massive and like just photographs further on towards the end of this production with those arches. Yeah. So what key do they play? Is this going to be like a huge ship? It, 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 is Discovery massive? I th- it, it's just a funny one for me. It, it, I don't see what I can make out a proper bridge set here. Yeah. Which is interesting at this point. Scale, scale was so one thing that came I into my noticed. mind. Yeah, just it's just this is a gigantic set, probably be multiple yeah. pieces, but like this is just showing the production yeah, like, that's do, going into Discovery here. Do you see a bridge set here, though? Um, no, not 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 in this shot here. Um, you start to see the development of it. Um, now it's hard to say this is all in assembly here, but the tones, like those dark kind of spires in the back hark alien to me but i don't know what the alien that's, that's, or so that's if it's it's more like it is it a structure or is it a ship or is it like the internals of some of some sort um very interesting and you can see mm. it kind of just being being assembled I, here in piece by piece to me it was alien complete alien um you know what i mean you know you, you can see some shapes there that you kind of look and say jesus is that part of a bridge but like I know maybe they've changed the way they will make the bridge this time around, but normally, it, you know, from previous shots that we've seen of the bridges, like, you know, I mean, it is kind of like a fairly much full on closed mm. set type thing, you know what I mean? It's circular, and that's where the bridge goes in. Mm. But, you know, maybe they've changed it, but to me, this structure looks fairly, fairly alien. And it looks as though they're putting a lot of work into this. Like this image so that I we have. have yeah, like, like. This, this image that we have here, has a big part. yeah, that's true. That's true. And like, again, it's hard to say, but um, you're looking at this picture that I'm looking at right now, and it kind of, if this is alien, this could be a large bridge in itself. Like, if you th- if you look in the center mm-hmm. there where there's a guy standing, that's kind of almost yeah. like a circular side of it. And on the left of it, you have this kind of cylinder, the back wall. Is that the back end of the view screen? But normally the view screens are hollow, yep. so the camera can look through them as well. So, you know, it's, yeah, it, nothing here that screams Federation to me. And I think that's what we're both kind of saying, nope. really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as we saw earlier, um, I think Doug Jones tweeted it as well, that Discovery is now shooting. And here we have one of the um, the, the, the film boards here. So uh, Star Trek Discovery. Uh, interesting note here, they don't have the new Delta. So that looks like a very late on the day change. Did you spot that? Mm. Yes. Yeah. So we... uh, well, no, like nine times out of ten, when you're going into stuff like this, um, you, like you've even seen it before with, um, like going back to Star Wars, one of the, like the jackets' names and bits and pieces and logos <laughs> yeah. might change at the last. Revenge minute. of the Jedi. When they go into the likes of what you call it, when it comes into this part where it comes into saying like it's Star Trek Discovery. You know, it doesn't surprise me that the Delta's wrong at this part, you know? Yeah. Um, obviously, the uniforms, as we've seen, we've, we like we do get to see uh, a uniform. Um, you know what I mean? That's been finalized. So, like, you know, it, it's easy to see on a piece of paper, yeah, the Delta looks great. But then when it comes down to the, like, of fabricating the Delta and putting on a uniform, yeah. it looks crap. That's you it. You know, so, oh, hang on, we have to change. So, that's probably... The fluidity uh, the, of the, the production. The bits and pieces, like, surprise me. Yeah, I like it. Wouldn't surprise me now. Like uh, that, that studio like has all. If if they advertise it outside, it's the all Star Trek, 
uh, discovery logo that they have. I mm. don't think you, you're going to see the new one. The only thing that you're going to see is, you know, um, they'll be on, collectors. Obviously, items. what they're filming now. <laughs> yeah. And did you notice in the back of this picture here? Obviously, it's very blurry, but um, they look like consoles in the back. Um, very, yeah. very bridge esque consoles there. Um, but again, Federation esque. Kind of Federation esque. Yeah. Interesting dark yeah. tones though, like there's dark greys, touch of red. That kind of looks like a bit of a table in the back there, just yeah. before them as well. Um, again, this is it. This is what we're doing. We're CSIing these images here as well. So looks kind of interesting tonally. Um, but yeah. But do you know what actually? It kind of. That kind of paneling, it does kind of look like if you modernized the original series what do you think you know the way they have the the bridge consoles there like if you were to modernize them what would you do you would illuminate them and um yeah give them actions as well it's even the lighting on the side the four lamps coming down the the, the, the lighting does seem federation so obviously somewhere in that set they have got uh federation mm. so you know as i said like we're, we're only getting to see the sound stage being built so you know obviously like you know if you go back to the original sound stage for star trek the the tos series you know like it's it's a large stage and they have all the bits and pieces the main parts that are used all in one area so yeah you know what we've seen the biz this big massive alien structure obviously somewhere well maybe this could be in another part of sound the stage a sound stage b you know multiple rooms which again would exactly. be great you know, the, the, the scale of production yeah. looks definitely promising here. Yeah. Um, we saw the back of w one of those traditional director's chairs as well, again, with the old kind of um, iconography there as well. But still the same nice, sharp font here. Um, there was this shot, which it's very cloak and dagger, but looks like it's going into a smaller room. Now, this kind of goes to what you were thinking there about having another stage which has other productions on it as well, because I don't remember seeing that kind of structure on the far left or the far right in the initial snap this here. This one to me now is a very, very hard thing to make out. Um, like looking at, we have by what looks to me is a one of those camera arms, mm -hmm. you know, pointed towards, uh, just pointed towards those black screens. Yeah, and then at the background, this is a very I actually. Want to know what that could actually be? It, it looks a bit too big. To me, it kind of semi reminds me of a Klingon corridor or Klingon the the angles. Is it just that that the roof piece? Just uh, the square. The, the, that looks to me kind of Klingon. Like either hmm. could it be on Kronos? Could it be a Klingon? Now to me, it looks too big for. But like, could this be like one of the, you know? A yeah. corridor on one of the buildings. Corridor, you know, cling on. It's, it's very hard at this stage. Hmm. Yeah. Again, so much, so much to be known. <laughs> We're still looking out. Yeah. But and I mean, that's that's the kind of shape in there looks to me now, cling on. But then again, you don't know what's in behind that structure. So like, that's it. just because it's built that kind of way means nothing. It could be. It could be a canteen. Who knows? <laughs> now speaking of cling on. Yeah. Now for me, yes. when I saw these. I just I, I initially I thought, exactly. thought Klingon. We know Klingons are cast, but this to me just looks, and it just Klingon. Has to be. Has to be. Yeah. That that's what I was thinking as well uh, initially. I was it's kind of think are they gonna? It's gonna be for another alien species. I don't think. I I do think this is Klingon. Mm. Um, I think it's fairly fairly cool. <laughs> I I do like. I tell you one thing now. I'll uh cosplay shops are going to have a feel they're making that one <laughs> I think they are indeed like they look like teeth on the shoulders and something on the back they, there as well but definitely body armour um, but yeah, mobile it, it, flexible it does look to be something on the back and you got to remember the Klingon spine as well which would indicate if you could see down the, the spine ridge mm-hmm that could really give it away as Klingon, you know, because we've seen that from Worf. You know, you can see the spine is just a little bit more. Oh, I, I, I'd agree. It has to be Klingon. Yeah. 
And like with these three here, it could be just the lighting or they could be through varying stages of being finished. But there's three different colors here. Yeah. Um, light in the middle, well, very dark at the there, foreground. They, they could be just what you call it, getting uh, painted, as you said there. One mm -hmm. could be primed, one could have a second coat of prime and one could have a finishing color. You, you wouldn't know what way that they're making yeah. these kind of costumes. But uh, or is. else, again, it could be command structure. That's it. Could could represent uh, rank, could represent different families in the yeah. Klingon High Council and stuff like that as well. But, um, you know, it's it's quite ornate. Um, I don't know. The, it it kind of, it's like if someone said Herogen uh, as well, like they look very Herogen uh, to me. Imperial Guard. Mm. Wasn't it that the Klingons had an Imperial Guard? Th did they? I think they did. They would have had some, something along those lines anyway. Um, but yeah, like I'd be very surprised if these weren't Klingon. Um, but I'd be curious to know at home folks what you think as well um but yeah i think the most logical thing is that these are in varying stages of uh, finished uh readiness here but uh, it'd be nice to see some kind of differentiation for rank and stuff like that as well now really interesting that's about to pop up on your screen there chris is picture board which in the top left looks like a bit of a bridge layout and then we have multiple shots of the discovery yes the decisive and uh oh you know incendiary images here uh these hark back